Today we'll be doing a refurbishing job on the Lenovo ThinkPad X240, getting it in like new condition. Stick around. Alright, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be refurbishing a Lenovo X240 ThinkPad. This is an ultra book, 12 inch screen, and it is super lightweight. It's a super nice notebook. It's a couple years old now. It's a fourth generation Intel chip. This one is running an i5. But they're perfect for carry. And they're Lenovo build quality, so you know they're going to last. But with any product that starts aging, there are things that need to be done to maintain it. So what we'll be doing today, we'll be taking apart the back casing and replacing the thermal compound on the CPU with some Arctic Silver MX4 and uh, help cool this laptop off and help it keep those clocks higher and reduce the battery draw on it. Also, we'll be replacing the internal and external batteries because a lot of people don't realize Lenovo's have two batteries and it gives them phenomenal battery life. So, let me put this over here. It's our internal battery. Let's go ahead and flip this guy over. I got a nice soft anesthetic pad down here. Pull the battery out. First thing, this is the old battery. This is the slim fit battery that makes it sit flush. Not a lot of power. It's a three cell battery, so you get about three hours out of it. We're just gonna set that to the side. And then what we'll have to do is we'll have to take off all these screws. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. And these are magnesium body laptops. So real rigid, no flex to them. One thing to keep in mind when you're doing this, don't get in a hurry. Anybody is capable of doing this. You don't have to have any special skills. I mean, just some basic knowledge of assembly, disassembly, and computer components would be nice, but it's not too difficult a task. Anyone's capable of it, and it will make a huge difference into the, the life of this laptop. So once you have your screws off, this does have a couple clips on it. So just be careful when you're pulling it because you don't want to damage these clips. I know a lot of people have criticized Lenovo for using clips in a professional notebook, but it is what it is. We move on. All right, focus. Here we go. So this is the internal battery that they have. It's another three cell battery at 24 watt hour. Not bad. With the X240, there's only a single slot for RAM. So the most it can have is 8 gigabytes, because that was a limitation on the CPU. And then you also get an M2 slot for WAN. And you have another one here for the wireless. Now the first thing you want to make sure that you do before you start messing with any of the components in here is unplug the internal battery, because it is running. So let's just come in here very carefully. And we'll just unplug this cable. Being that we're going to place it anyway, it's really not a big deal. Now what I like to do is go ahead and get the thermal grease replaced because it makes a huge difference in the cooling. So let's pull these screws up for the heat sink. Actually, this one uses a heat pipe. Alright, so we have that. And we just lift very, very carefully because you don't want to damage any of this. Looks like we've got to get this one unscrewed just a little more. There we go. Very carefully. Yeah, there's some tape on here. Let's see that clear tape? Pull that off. I'm sure that tape's important for the cooling. So we'll just flip this up. 
Don't forget to plug this back in. This is your insertion force cable. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some isopropyl alcohol. And we're going to clean up this old thermal compound. It's a microfiber, no lint cloth. It's important to use no lint because you don't want to have something in there that's foreign that would prevent it from cooling, actually making contact with it correctly. So, use some isopropyl. Wipe this down here. Make sure it's nice and clean. And we'll go ahead and dry this off. And then the same thing, you want to make sure you clean the heat sink, or the heat pipe in this case, as well. Let's go ahead and wipe this off. Uh, well, you'll, you'll know that it really needed to be done if the thermal compound is crusty. It actually will get hard over the years of just kind of sitting in there. Even if it's uh, not been used too much, there is a shelf life on it. Uh, the sh what we'll be putting in here actually lists that shelf life as eight years. So if someone gets eight years further out of this laptop, I'd say we've done a good job. Okay. Take our cap off of here. I pulled up some images for you. All right, we'll take our cap off of here, and we'll put. We're gonna put a little. It doesn't take a lot because it will spread. We'll put this on here, spread just a little. I see a lot of people spreading this with their fingers here of late, and that's just not a good idea. We just don't want to do that. You don't want to introduce any foreign objects that are on your fingers onto your cooling solution. That just wouldn't be good. So, let's go ahead and we'll put this back on here. Remember to route the cables that were on there back through there. They were there for a reason. We'll go ahead and do that first. We'll set this down. Here, two, three, and four. Now make sure they're snug, but don't over tighten them to where you strip out the screws, because then we got a whole other issue we got to deal with, and that's not fun. I'm going to tuck this cable back in. can get tough when you have big fingers. There we go. Get that tucked in. And we'll put that tape back in there. Now, don't forget, with this particular one, you see there's this little zero insertion force cable. We have to plug this back in. This is its temperature monitoring. You definitely, definitely want to put that back in. Probably should have done that before I screwed it down, but we're here now. Good deal. There we go. We're back in. So We've gotten the thermal compound replaced, we've replaced, the, put the heat sink back in, we've rerouted the cables, and we've reattached the thermal sensor. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to replace the internal battery, this component here. Now a lot of people don't realize that Lenovo does this, so you can actually switch out your battery on the fly without having to turn off the machine. It's quite ingenious. It'll drain the external battery first, that way you always have something on the internal if you need to change the battery. Super cool feature. So we'll just take out those three screws. Be very careful. And we'll just lift this out. 
If you are having issues with BIOS retaining settings, this would be a good time to replace this battery as well. We are not with this unit. It's a simple coin cell that plugs into the motherboard here. You see the little socket for it? But we don't need to yet, so we're not going to. Let's go ahead and get this out. It's a brand new, uh, actually, Lenovo factory battery. I would highly recommend always using the factory batteries. That way you're not getting, I mean, there are some vendors that make off, uh, some third parties that make good batteries. But when it comes to laptops and whatnot, I always recommend going with the OEM first. So what we'll do is we'll take this cable here. You'll see that again, it has some of this tape in here. You can just pull it off. We're not gonna be using it. We don't need it. But we'll put this down here. We'll route these cables. Cable management is important in a laptop because you don't really have a lot of space to work with. And we'll plug in. They only plug in one way, so don't worry too bad, too much if you weren't paying attention to how you had it. There we go. We'll plug that in. Got our cables down and managed in there. Awesome. Then we'll take our three screws that we took out and put those back in. Again, tighten it. Don't tighten it so tight that you strip the screws because you end up with some, you know, have some bad problems. You'll have to end up replacing the magnesium frame. And that is a pretty expensive component, especially one that doesn't need to be replaced. There we go. All right, so we got all that. Um, next thing I would do, I've already done that on here, so I don't have it on film, is I would take some compressed air and clean out all the areas in the nooks and crannies that have, might have dust sitting in them. And it's just uh, precautionary. Dust builds up and it prevents heat transfer properly and it prevents airflow. So, I mean, it's just something, just go ahead and do it while you're in here. It's no sense not doing it, but we have already done it, so we're good on here. Just go ahead and give it a once over and check everything. Um, if you are working on this and you haven't checked, I would take the memory out and reseat it just to make sure that it has good contact. But other than that, we're ready to put the magnesium frame back on it. And just like you did before, we're doing it in backwards. So we'll take it, we'll set it on. And you'll notice some little clip sounds. That is it sitting in its proper place. And we'll tighten those eight screws back. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. I can't stress this enough. Tighten them where they're snug, but do not over tighten them. You do not want to strip out any of the components. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to replace the external battery. Super easy. Again, we're using a Lenovo factory. And we're going to be replacing this one from the, the slim battery, which is a 3-cell, which you can see here, to the 6-cell, the 68 Plus. And this is going to give this laptop a runtime of probably 10 to 12 hours. Another added benefit is if you are carrying this around, with it, you see it adds this little bump on here. And what that bump gives you somewhere to hold and it also puts it at a nice tight much better position for typing because it elevates it uh, another thing i would go around and check right now while you have it is check to make sure all those clips set in uh, the ones right here in the back by the lcd tend to not rest when you just push down on the bottom like we did but there we go we've replaced the internal battery the external battery we replaced the thermal compound on here so it uh, will have much better cooling again 
and now we got some amazing battery life. Another thing I like to do, I mean, these do have a rubberized coating on them, and I like to just add a little, add a little bit of oil to them. And what it does is just, it brings out the shine back in it. A lot of people will use uh, face cream. It works well. I just don't know how much I like to put face cream on uh, electronics. Don't really know everything that's in that. So I just use a basic oil and it just cleans it up and gives it a nice pretty shine. Beautiful finish on this guy. I've always loved to the Lenovo's how they look. All the way back to the IBM, they have this rubber coating on them. It gives them a really nice feel. All right, we'll flip and we'll do the same thing on this side. Now I've already done some other work on this thing. Like I mentioned before, I'd already cleaned out all the dust. And we've checked the function of the processor and everything else. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how to properly fix the cooling on a mobile solution and replace the internal and external batteries. There we go. Power this guy on. Awesome. Brightness check, and you'll see here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Make sure both batteries are being recognized. There we go. Battery one, which is the internal battery, is um, well, not charged matter to the external. So we're going to shut this down. I'm going to factory wipe this laptop and we'll be done. I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you how I like to personally work on things. Being this was my personal laptop that I was refurbishing to give it a new home. If you like this content, subscribe to see upcoming videos and check out the past videos. And if you have any questions or a something you'd like to see on the channel, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching.